Welcome to Perot Show, where we celebrate you and celebrate who you are. Today we celebrate with the Bini community in Ireland on the occasion of the Igwe Festival. The Igwe Festival to the Benins is the grandfather of all cultural celebrations. It is a period of prayer, plenty of food and dance, and so was the Dublin edition. Today we bring you the exciting moments of the celebrations. Happy viewing. On the 8th of March 2008, the Benizen Island opened a new chapter in Irish history. Apart from the celebrated Benin group, which is now known all over Ireland, the Benins from Edo State of Nigeria celebrated for the first time the famous cultural Igwe Festival in Dublin. The celebration which was held at Green Hills College opened with special Igwe prayers of peace and unity in the society by Mr. Ago. <laughs> The president of the association, Mr. Patrick Ihagwebo, urged the people to see the Igwe festival celebrations as the beginning of long-lasting unity and understanding among the Benins and the society at large. Records have shown it has been continually celebrated for over 500 years. The record has been for a thousand years. It will be here for many years to come. It is the heart and soul of the Edo National League. It's celebrated in the upper part of the area. I'm fine, thank you. All right. Um, could you tell us who you are and how you see the celebration that has been going on here today? Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, my name is John Ishaya. I'm Minister in Nigeria Embassy, Dublin. Uh, this festival is very significant, you know. It brings out the culture of Nigeria and then Ireland. This gives an opportunity for Irish people in particular to know about our culture. It's a very good event and I encourage that they sh it should be they should hold it yearly the Bene cultural dance group was a beautiful sight to behold with the glamorous costumes and attires and their magnificent performance to dazzle the crowd.
Hello, how are you doing? What's the name, please? My name is Matthew Obamoy. Okay, and you? Linda Obamoy. Okay, you've been here for the great celebration today, right? That's right, yeah. Okay, what, what can you tell us about what you've seen so far? Um, it's been very, very great and encouraging. Um, it's um, a privilege and an honor to be in the midst of my people and my root. Um, the community and the association has done their best to making sure um, an extremely successful and eventful occasion was actually put in place. So it's uh, well done to the association. Okay. Do you see this as, an, as a sign of integration of our people integrating yes. into the Irish community? Yes. Yeah. And it's nice for her to see our cult, the culture and see where she see what see what part of what she, where she's from. Where are you from actually? I'm Dublin, Tala. Oh, you're from Dublin. Yes. So you like what <laughs> you're saying here? Yes. Okay. Has, has you have you learned anything from what you saw today, or you've been saying it? You already know much about. Well, he's, 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 ta he's taught us much, and it's nice for her to actually see the dancing and see the all the costumes and culture for herself. Okay. Rather than just talking about it. All right. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Mr. Barry Imafido analyzed the importance of the Igwe Festival to the Beninese. He noted that the Igwe Festival was a period of prayers and not for idol worshipping, as claimed by some people. There is no limit to it. Celebrate and please make sure that you have a new community in affiliation to this uh, community we have here. God bless you as we celebrate with our community for this great occasion. Over at Dr. Bay.
have been doing it here today. I think it's fantastic. You know, it's fantastic. I was just thinking about it that, that uh, it's going to be our responsibility to get a hall within the city centre. Well, but all the community groups can be having this for you know, be able to get more Irish people to be able to you know have access to this. You know, yeah. So it's something we are going to think about very shortly to see if we can have a central place where it can be accessible to people and uh, you know because this place seems to be a bit of a welfare and you know. So yeah. We... yeah. How you doing, Mr. Ekman? Um, fine. I just want to ask you one question. Yeah. As a direct descendant of the Oba of Benin. Do you think Igwe Festival is still relevant? Absolutely. Ab absolutely relevant because of um, what it symbolizes, really. The Igwe is a representation at any time, especially the end of the year, where the Oba and the people of Benin give thanks to God and their ancestors for another life, another year that has just been completed. So we always, it will always be very important. It is a part of our own celebration. Just as you have Christmas, we have what we call the Igwe Festival, which is synonymous to that. So it will always be relevant.